Hello, Leo. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Leo? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of Leo? So right off the bat, they're wanting to let you know that success assured with good plans and hard work. So you guys do have some sort of success coming towards you, but you're needing to be diligent regarding whatever you're working towards. Your challenge is really knowing how, really how protected you are and that you are being spiritually guided. Because I'm getting whoever this is for, like, whoever this is for, I'm getting that, like, you have a tendency to, like, question it. And we all do from time to time when things get rough. But someone here may have a tendency to, like, really doubt how protected and that they are being spiritually guided. And your spirit guides just want you to know that you are being protected. You are being spiritually guided. You are okay. You are safe. The root of the situation, you will receive a gift. I'm really getting there some sort of surprise in store for you guys that you're not aware of. So some of you guys, this surprise may take place in July. So that's next month. That's no coincidence. Horseshoe, good luck. Some of you guys may have some sort of dealings or like some sort of dealings with an older man back in October, September or someone's birthday could be around that time. So Libra, Libra Scorpio. I'm gonna put that as a side note. It's funny because, um, I'm really getting that, I don't know if it's just you having a tendency to allow like your fears to get the best of you, like afraid of some skeletons in your closet coming to the light, or I'm not sure exactly is that, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but with skull, hidden secrets can harm you, but you have wishbone here, a wish is granted. I'm getting that you guys may have people, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna say like may, you guys have people that try to work against you. And that's the way that I'm going to put it because I really get that they're not successful. They never are. They may at the moment work your last nerve because it's, it just doesn't make any sense. Why are they putting all this energy towards 
trying to sabotage whatever you have going on in your life. But it's like the same people that wanted to bring some sort of harm to you is watching a wish be granted to you. And then also, and then also it's like, um, whatever they were trying to hide from you is coming to light. Some of you guys may have like some sort of inheritance or something here that was being hidden from you and it's coming to the light or you guys are now gaining access to something that you've been wanting that you deserved. Some of y'all could have lost someone around March. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Someone will gossip about your, your secrets money will be coming to you that's again again spiritual love it's like whenever you guys have someone that works against you the universe blesses you <laughs> it's it's kind of it's really kind of funny not the fact that you guys have someone that's like intentionally trying to annoy the hell out of you but it's funny how the universe blesses you and they have to watch you be blessed while, you know, they try to do so much to bring harm to you. So it's like they wasted all their energy and then they have to answer for it on top of it. Because it's like, I guess, I'm going to tell you what, the way you protect yourself is just remaining in positive energy, positive light, because whenever they can get to your head and make you start doubting or start thinking the worst, that's when they gain control over what you're manifesting, your present energy. So when you guys just stay in this optimistic energy, you remain in control over yourself, your life, what you're manifesting. Yeah, some sort of temporary situation. You guys could have some sort of, some older woman that's like, trying to create trouble by some false accusations here some accusations that are troubling but time to get out of a situation so you guys and this i'm gonna tell you guys what this car popped up before and i didn't pull it out it was just when i was shuffling through i had saw it for you guys but some of you guys are dealing with someone that's like stubborn and stuck in their ways they're unwilling to change there is some sort of news that you will be receiving. They're saying as soon as you receive that news, is get out of the situation. Because I'm getting whoever this is for. Like, you're not going to leave a situation until, like, 
you have proof that you need to leave the situation. Like you're not going to do it based off of just being intuitively guided to leave a situation. So it's going to take some sort of someone doing something here for you to finally leave a situation. I'm getting some of y'all are going to hear someone was saying something that is very troubling to you. But what you need to know despite it all is the more someone tries to like work against you the more the universe works for you else could be dealing with the Capricorn but as you see the end of a tough cycle is approaching for you guys you're needing to take the lead on some particular situation with Capricorn energy show the world the real you with Aquarius Will show the world the real you and Aquarius energy popping up. Surrender to the divine with full moon energy. Um, Aquarius is a fixed sign. Leo, you guys are also a fixed sign, but they're wanting you to really know and stand true to who you are, and that's who you are. Of course, we change, but it's your core, your value here. Not to allow anyone else to change that. energy is gaining momentum conclusions are within reach it's a repeated theme here so some sort of conclusion is within reach and the energy is gaining momentum so something is definitely picking up a solution that you guys have been like waiting on is about to approach it's like something here that you've been waiting on is about to approach or some it's a tough cycle coming to an end so the conclusions that you needed regarding this particular situation is coming. I'm getting really with this situation, with them wanting you to stay true to yourself. It's not to allow anyone to get you out of character. Because that's exactly what they want to do. So they're basically saying, whoever this is for, like when you've been feeling like up and down, like your emotions have been all over the place. This is from someone else projecting their energy off onto you or onto you. So the challenge is for you to realize when someone else is projecting their energy on you and what energy is actually your own. This could possibly be someone that you've had a separation with that wants to come back together with you and this person has been affecting you energetically. Get 
these cars drained out. Okay, so who you're being advised to hide away from this person. Some of y'all have actually like relocated and moved away physically from this person here. I'm surprised that love actually popped out because I thought that it was going to keep going on with um, the situation. But I'm definitely getting... Let me see why is today popping up in the past. Oh, I'm going to tell you guys what definitely. So some of y'all really needs to be mindful of like protecting your energy because whoever you guys, and I'm definitely getting this as someone that you were like intimate with at some time in your life. But whenever you're feeling like way down, it's almost like you have someone, I don't even, but you know what? It is what it is. Cause I definitely get like, I understand like I, 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 I understand when like some people try to send like negative energy my way, but I just disregard it because I know I know how my spirit guides are and I know that they're going to end up having to deal with it. It's like you went through all that for nothing, you know, and now you're going to have to actually it's not for nothing because now you're going to have to learn a hard ass lesson here. But I'm definitely getting some, it's like whenever you're feeling like way down, because I'm getting some of y'all have been feeling like way down. And they're saying, because I'm getting like this sexual energy. It's like some of y'all like over, it's like feeling like over sexual, you know, it's not, not, it's like, um, not in like a good way. It's, it's like really feeling like way down by it. I don't quite know how to explain it to like the point where it kind of makes you feel kind of like broken, um, crushed. It's not a good feeling. It's like, it is, it's a heavy feeling, but it's really like this person from the past It's their energy affecting yours because they're projecting this energy onto you. They're saying that because this is someone that you went your separate way from and they want to come back together, uh, back together with you. And I'm getting like their like their advice is for you to stay away from this person. Some of y'all could have a family with this person and they're someone they've been inconsistent with you, but they're done like they don't want to be on a break anymore they're about to pop up on you but the only reason why they're popping up is to cause chaos to get attention and they don't care how they have to get it yeah because they're pissed off that you cut them off and some of y'all like you were really drastic like the you were like the way you cut them off they felt like it was really harsh Okay, let me grab the tarot. 
and then we'll get some oracle messages for you guys the good thing is like the feeling heavy and weighed down like that sexual energy coming off of someone here that popped up in your past energy so either you guys are overcoming it or you already have for whoever that is for whoever that resonates for but i'm getting you didn't understand like where was it coming from like why were you feeling that way some of you guys it's just from having sex with that person like soul ties type of energy They don't feel like it's over. They're wanting to communicate with you. Some of y'all could have this person blocked because with communication, like wanting to communicate with you, being in the challenge, you could have this person blocked off from communicating with you. But they're wanting to make a point that it's not over. And it's not over until they say it's over. Toxic ass. See, and I, I haven't even been cussing. I've been doing good. Y'all will be proud of me. Like, you know, I cuss like a sailor. But I have been a true lady. I haven't been cursing. Y'all, y'all... You know what? It is so funny because it's like they're they're doing all this, working up all their energy, and y'all not tripping off it. And I'm gonna tell you what, y'all are overcoming. Y'all, I'm getting for whoever this is for. It was hard for you to trust yourself in another relationship after dealing with this person, but y'all are finding true love after being in a difficult i'm so happy that this because i did gemini and cancer and it was like their message kind of just went on together but yours is so different i love it like it's specific to a leo here because i'm seeing you guys are whatever this relationship was it was really difficult for you and it's like you finding true love after some time of grief, you know, after going through a difficult relationship. Yeah, that brought you a lot of instability here. learned the lesson in the past you reflected on this connection and you guys like finally learned some sort of major lesson you woke up to a connection or the lesson that you were meant to learn out of this connection with this person but some of y'all were beating yourself up from being in a connection like that yeah that's not the road you want to travel down again Whoever you dealt with, this person caused you a lot of pain and heartache, but you guys are overcoming that and you're about to enter some sort of true love connection. Um, I'll see if I can get more information regarding the true love, but right now, this is what they want to focus on because for whatever reason, it's about to be very significant to you. I'm really getting like this person trying to get attention any way that they can. 
like whether they're calling up your family, your friends, like whatever they can do to get some sort of attention here. And I'm all, I like I'm getting someone that's trying to change like the way people view them with judgment here. It's like the judgments that people had on them, they want to change that. But you're like, I'm not going down that road again. You know, it's just an act. Because your advice is to stand your ground. Defend what you believe in here. It's like, you know the truth in this situation. Because you're about to make this person realize there is no... Some of you guys, this is like the fourth time. Like, this isn't the second chance. This Like, this person has had multiple opportunities to screw you over. Like to stab you in the heart. And they every chance that they had, they took it. But they're about to learn once and for all that you're not here for the games anymore. And you're not working out shit with them. Because they see you as being guarded, holding back, not willing to open up. You see them as someone who has been through a lot of pain and heartache in their life and they take it out on others. Like they intentionally cause pain. They intentionally inflict pain onto others. You see them as someone who's also dishonest. They struggle with communi uh, communication as well. Yeah, you're definitely leaving this person out in the cold. It's so funny because it's like they come back and they really think they're about to place this burden on you, but it, you leave them out in the cold and they have to deal with this on their own. Like they realize you, they can't play these games with you anymore. This is their karma. But I'm really getting like the universe is really proud of you because you release this toxic energy. Like you finally let it go. Like you cut through the, the BS. Because you're cutting through the seven of swords. And you're moving towards some new partnership. Let me see if I can get more about this new partnership. more about the new partnership I'm not sure if we will get it but let's see can you tell more about the new partnership Leo Leo okay because I'm seeing whoever this new person is, they're financially well off. They're going to want to spoil you. They're going to they're gonna be type like, let me pay for it. I love her because she got her own. She got her own. <laughs> I can't hold a tune worth nothing, but I'll play around. Um, Let me see. I'm I'm excited because I didn't know if they were going to give us anything regarding new love. So here we go. Okay, they're saying friends are going to be the challenge. So some of y'all need to be mindful of some people that you consider your friends. Or friend zoning this person. Let's see. You're going to be at some sort of crossroads. I'm not getting that it's going to be like two people. Some of y'all it may, but I'm really getting that it's just like being hesitant to go into a connection. So yeah, you guys have 
I, I'm getting someone has recently met someone that has stirs your romantic feelings here. Sound like Doreen Virtue. Oh, what is this? Okay. Hi. Clarify this snake for me. Clarify the snake for me. There's a message that wants to keep that wants to keep repeating and the signs. There could be someone that literally watches all the readings. I'm not sure, but it's a message. I haven't had this happen before, but it keeps repeating in all the signs. I, I mean, I'm saying all the signs, but I only did, <laughs> I only did Gemini and Cancer, but I'm getting that it's about to come through again. Okay, okay. So... I'm not getting that your cross your crossroads is going to be whether you should entertain this past connection or this new connection, but they're definitely letting you know that this person from the past is popping back up. They they're bringing them back up again. They're letting you know that they're not telling you the truth. They want you to read between the lines and know that this person is being dishonest with you. So they're advising you not to deal with someone who's trying to pop back up from the past. I'm getting like a different, um, I'm not getting that this is the same energy. Some of y'all have multiple people from the past and this is what this crossroads is about. Is about Cause there's two doors from the past here. Someone isn't letting you know like about some sort of family dynamic that they have, like they have like some something happened where they're kind of being forced back towards you. I, it's, it's like they mess things up. Like they destroyed some sort of stability that they had within a family dynamic. Because there's some sort of player that's perceiving you as like wanting to receive some sort of messages from them. But you perceive this person as someone that you broke up with, like you're over this connection, but they're advising you not to entertain this because you will be heartbroken over um, a third party situation. Why is Leo looking at them as breakup? You, so you're viewing them, if you were to give them a chance, you're viewing them, it, either you know intuitively or you, you just like, you're looking at them like it would just be a matter of time before you end up breaking up if you took this risk towards going um, in this direction with this person. So some of you guys could friends on a new person here in order to see where a past connection goes. I'm getting this two doors from the past that are shut because both of these doors are shut. And it looks like we're getting 
like we're getting um, insight regarding both both of them here because I'm not getting the same energy. I'm getting both of them are toxic, but one is more toxic than the other because your last one was telling you to run basically from that person. This one is just telling you like they're a player. They're going to continue to play games with you and you have a new love option if you're open to it. Because I'm getting like this person will come and try to pretend that they went through some sort of spiritual awakening. But they're saying that it's just... This person could possibly come and disrupt like what you've created. Like the stability that you created for your family. And it doesn't matter if it's just you and your child or like whatever family means to you. take it as a resume it could be the same person but it didn't give too much about the new love because that past energy keeps wanting to come through so they don't want you to go nowhere dragon supernatural some of y'all may be uh the chinese year of the dragon um you are the ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity so you guys need to be aware that you have the ability to if you don't like your current circumstances you have the ability to change them at your will don't underestimate your power. Now I'm going to go ahead and read Lizard 2 with Regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt, embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Okay, so family, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose now. Some of y'all will have, like, you're being guided towards, yeah, support. Your life purpose fully supports you. I'm really getting, for whoever this is for, some of y'all, like, this new connection that's coming in for you, you're being guided towards someone that you can create a family with that will give you the support that you need because I'm definitely getting someone here that's been doing everything on their own and it's been quite the struggle for you. But you're about to like take a huge load off. You're definitely being divinely guided towards someone new here. for whoever that resonates for. Cause I'm getting to whoever this is, like you've been single and struggling on your own. Son, birthday, a significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Some of you guys, your son's birthday Sun popped out for someone else as well. I think I want to say it was Gemini. 
I'm going to leave that there. I'm not sure exactly why your son's birthday will be of significance, but whoever that resonates for. Okay. Where can I ask for more help in my life? Again, this is just com uh, confirming that you're about to get some sort of support here. And it's someone that you're about to create a family with. Until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Brian, Brian Brown, today's soul action, today ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. Today's mantra, I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. So some of y'all need to learn to accept help or I'm gonna tell you what, the person because your new person with finances popping up with them y'all have someone whose love language is gift giving so y'all are going to have to learn to accept gifts and not be because you rejecting this person's gifts is like rejecting their love or not like to them is rejecting their love like they're going to be like why don't they want why don't they want my you know, I bought this for them or I, I wanted this for Leo and they don't want, you know, it's going to confuse them. But really it's because you struggle with accepting things or you may not want to come across as being greedy or, you know, so they're wanting you to understand like whoever you're attracting loves to give. They're very, they're a very giving person. That's the way they express their love. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.